welcome back to Potions Class. My name is Asiya, and lately I've been catching up with the Witcher series. For those who don't know, Witchers are basically mutated human beings, enhanced by medieval science and magic in order to fight off monsters. To be honest, I wasn't that interested in the series in the beginning, but people have been talking about it so much and so I thought to give it another chance. And to my surprise, it's actually not that bad. I've always liked fantasy and game lore, so I'm actually quite excited to see what they have for future seasons. But today, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make some Witcher potions. I have three of the most popular ones lined up for today. There is Swallow, which is basically a healing potion. We have Cat, which allows Witchers to see in complete darkness. And lastly, of course, we have Blizzard, which improves reflexes and reaction time. Now, in the series, it's not exactly clear what Geralt drinks. He usually drinks a small vial of black liquid before he fights monsters, um, but it seems to have the same effects as the previous mentioned potions. So, I had a genius idea. I'm going to mix them all together in the end and see what we get. So without further ado, let's craft some Witcher potions. So these are the ingredients for today's potions. You will need, for swallow, we have one and a half ounces of grenadine, three fourth ounces of lemon juice, and three fourth ounces of whiskey. For cat, we have two and a quarter ounces of green apple sourpuss, three fourth ounces of chartreuse, and one drop of green food coloring. For blizzard, we have two and a quarter ounces of hypnotic, half ounce of white rum, and a quarter ounce of blue curacao. All right, so first let's craft the swallow potion. Grab a mixing glass or jar and add some ice. Add in your grenadine, lemon juice, and whiskey. Stir until cold, and pour it into your vial. Next, let's craft the cat potion. Combine ice, green apple sourpuss, chartreuse, and green food coloring. Stir until cold. and pour it into your vial. Lastly, let's make the blizzard potion. Combine ice, hypnotic, white rum, and blue curacao. Stir until cold, and pour it into your vial. Bonus potion. To craft the mysterious black liquid from the series, combine one part each of the swallow potion, cat potion, and blizzard potion. Add a tiny bit of black food coloring and mix it all together. Lastly, pour it into your vial. And ta-da! Witcher potions are complete! time. All right, so I gotta say, these ones turned out surprisingly well. Man, if I saw this in a store somewhere, I would have definitely bought some, no question about it. But aside from the amazing abilities that you can get from these potions, the next important thing is if they taste good. So let's get into the taste testing. 
So first, let's try the sparrow. Cheers. Damn, that packs a punch. It is so sweet and fruity. It is definitely very concentrated and very flavorful. So if you're actually creating these drinks as drinks, um, it's definitely best over ice uh, and let it dilute a little bit so that it is uh, a little easier to drink. It's not bad as it is, it's just very, very concentrated. But I love the flavor of the grenadine that I make and um, the lemon juice really helps balance it out just a little bit. And you don't really taste the whiskey in here, so this is really good for people who like the fruitier drinks. It's so much fun to drink out of these little bottles. It feels 10 times more magical than it would have been if it was just in a glass. All right, next we have the cat potion. Cheers. This one is definitely um, stronger than the first one. I really like the sour apple flavor and adding the chartreuse really gives it a herbal feeling. So it really feels like it's an actual potion made with like herbs and spices and such. Um, but the apple makes it very pleasant to drink. Again, very sweet. So if you need to dilute it um, with some ice, then definitely do that. I can totally understand if people don't like this one as much because it does have a more herbal, grassier flavor. But I mean, you can easily just use sour apple liqueur as well. But I like the hint of chartreuse in it. I think it adds more depth to the drink. Next, we have the blizzard potion. Cheers. I mean, from my previous video, you should pretty much know what this tastes like. It's very tropical and summery. Color is a beautiful aqua blue. But yeah, another sweet, pleasant cocktail to have. I mean, if this is what I have to drink to have advanced reflexes, then it's so worth it because it's tasty and you get power. So I don't see why not, you know? And lastly, the most questionable drink of them all, it is the mysterious black potion that Geralt drinks in the show. Let's see how this one tastes. So it's a combination of all of the previous drinks. So um, I can't imagine it tasting bad or anything, but I also don't know what it tastes like. Because of the color, I keep thinking grape, but I'm pretty sure it's not grape because that's not how flavors work. Anyway, cheers. I want to say grape, but it's not grape. <laughs> um, what I taste the most is probably, I think the chartreuse from the cat potion hits you first, and then you get a hint of the tropical flavors from the blizzard potion. And then I think you also get a hint of the grenadine from the swallow potion. Um, so I would say all those flavors mixed up in here is what you get the most. But honestly, after mixing so many things in here, it kind of just tastes like herbally fruit. But I guess to simplify it, you can say it pretty much tastes like mixed fruit with a hint of herbal to it. It's definitely not bad though. And I feel like if you said this tasted like grape to someone, they probably believe you or like pineapple and grape or something. But yeah, I feel like if I really needed to bring a potion anywhere, it would be this one because it basically does everything else. So, you know, keep it compact and simple and it's a all in one potion right here. If you guys are curious, I got all of these bottles from Michael's. They're probably not all in stock all of the time, but I usually just go there and see what's new and I usually pick up something. So yeah, I don't know where else you would find bottles like these, um, but if you do happen to go by Michael's and you find them, then you know, pick one up because they're fun to play with. Well, that's the end of today's class. Thank you for joining me and please let me know how you feel about the Witcher series so far and also which potion you would like to try. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments below. And like and subscribe for some more awesome potions. Until next time, class is dismissed. Stay magical!